Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today with another tutorial. This one has been requested. It was a transition that I've used in my champions, uh, my champions edit that I did. Here's just an example. It's the it's a circling pan crop if you want to call it that. Um, this does use no layers, like I mentioned in my previous tutorial. So let's you know let's just jump right into it. This one's actually pretty simple. It's going to be using all the same. Uh, techniques you use to do pan crop and rotation transitions that, uh, like I said, I mentioned before in my five transitions you need to know, I think. But uh, nonetheless, it's pretty easy. Just use this couple of no layers. So basically what's going on, just a quick overview, is the all of your images or video clips are going to be parented to one no layer and that no layer is going to be parented to another one. So it's having one that has an anchor point in a corner and it's going to zoom in <clears throat> it's going to zoom in on that and then the next one is going to be having a zoom out and uh, all the keyframes are going to be working together so it's going to be a lot of zooming in zooming out at the same at the uh, exact same times going on so let's just uh, go ahead and give it a look this is what this one's going to be looking like you can use mult you can use four no layers to get a different anchor points so it looks a bit more like a circle you're going in. This one's just using two in the corners. But without uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into how we made this. So first you're going to, here was delete all of these. You're going to get your, your clips going, your images. So I have two right here. I have a little Monster Cat guy, Monster Cat logo, and then I have a, like a Rocket League screenshot. So we're gonna have it transition from here to here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is on both, of or on all your layers, you're gonna to want to go ahead and put a motion tile on them, and you're actually gonna to want to jack these numbers up quite a bit. So I do 700 for each of the values, or somewhere around there, you know. Mirror the edges, of course. Then we do the same thing for this one: 700. Whoops. 700 and 700. Go ahead and mirror the edges. All right. So we want our transition to happen here at 30 or 30 frames. So you're gonna go into layer, new, null object, and you're just gonna hit Control D to duplicate that because we're gonna need two of them. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is move these null layers to where you want the uh, the anchor points to be. So on this first one, I'm gonna want it in the bottom left. So I'm gonna go to position and you'll be able to see its, its box moving around right here. And we're gonna move it to, not directly in the corner, but kind of somewhere around it. So about right there is good. And we're gonna move our top null to the upper right corner about the same perfect and the reason you have to move them before you parent anything to it because as soon as you parent a layer to a null if you move these positions then the layer is also going to move so now the layer won't move but it will think that down here is the anchor point or down or up here is the anchor point so like i said we're going to take our two pictures uh, control click so we select all of them and we're going to take the pick whip here which is the swirly thing underneath the parent sign the parent sign if these aren't here, then hit toggle switches in mode, and oh, actually they're always going to be there. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, you're going to parent it to the first null, and then you're going to take this null layer and parent it to the top. <clears throat> so this is a little trick to parent layers to multiple to multiple other objects or multiple nulls. And now first, we're going to take this first null, go to rotation, and then we're also going to hold down shift and hit S to bring up scale simultaneously. That way we're not looking too cluttered and we're going to keyframe both of these at the start. And then we're going to move up to the end of our clip right before it switches. And we're going to scale in a little bit. We'll go to maybe like 175. And then we're going to rotate this by 90 degrees, a positive 90. And then now since both of these layers are parented to the same thing, we're going to go over to the next one. And then we're going to go over a frame essentially and reset these keyframes. So back to zero and back to 100%. Now on this top null, we want this to be coming in from, since we zoom in on something, this one has to be zoomed out a bit so we can push forward onto it. And uh, we want it coming from the opposite angle. So we're gonna hit scale, shift R for rotate, and we're gonna do the opposite. So actually before that, we're gonna wanna go back a keyframe and make sure these are keyframed at their uh, natural values so that way this doesn't get messed up at all and then we're going to go forward and bring this out a little bit like 65 ish and then of a rotation of negative 90 since we did 90 on the previous time 
And then we're going to go forward to just before second and bring these back down to zero. Or back to their, their normal values. And then from here, all we got to do is go ahead and easy ease our keyframes in, make sure everything looks smooth. So you're just going to go over here to the graph editor, select scale, graph editor, which is this button up here. Click and drag over all of these. I'm sure you guys know how to do this by now. Easy ease them, change the handles a little bit, just play with that. Get some sort of smooth looking curve, and you're going to want to do that for all of your keyframes. Don't worry about any curves in between these two since it's just a it's a one frame difference. You're not going to be able to see any change anyway. And we're just going to keep this going. Uh, I like to think this is a really good alternative to just having normal pan crop transitions. My After Effects may be crashing. This is not good. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, now we're back in business. We're back in business. All right. So we're just going to get this finished off, and then we'll give it a little preview, show you guys what it looks like. All right, so now we got it turns around. This clip turns around this anchor point down the left, and this clip is turning around up here in the right. <clears throat> And now say we want it to keep going for another two seconds. So we want, while well, this one's zooming in and this one's zooming out, we want this next, this uh, the next transition to start while this one is going. So that way there's still movement and there's no kind of dead zone in between here. So what we're actually going to do is right here where it switches, we're going to cut this clip. And uh, normally you would have other clips here, but just for the sake of time, we're just going to duplicate these two and uh, move them over a little bit. All right, so now we want this bottom layer to be zooming in now. And to do this, we can actually just uh, copy and paste the keyframes. So we're just gonna take these two, since these first two right here that I've highlighted are the ones that are, are doing the movement, and then the one after is just a reset. We can just copy and paste this little brick of keyframes right here. Control C and then Control V to copy and paste. And then so that will start the rotating into this next transition. So now we see here this monster cat, uh, this monster cat picture is actually rotating around two different anchor points, which gives it that, that nice like kind of moving in a circle effect. So it's coming in off this one, but now it's also zooming in off this bottom one. So it's doing that. And then now we want this top no layer. We need to copy and paste these. So we're going to select these because this one is doing the change and this one is the end of the, the transition. So copy, paste. And so now this next clip is coming in off of that top. And then once again, we're going to copy and paste this little brick of keyframes and then do the same again here. And then before you do anything else, sometimes when you're copying and pasting keyframes, uh, the way the curves work can get a little messed up. So it's important to go back in your graph editor, check, make sure everything looks good. Every now and then someone straighten out for some reason. See like right here, these curves are, are changed from what they were initially. So we're just going to go in and fix these a little bit. Make sure they look how they did before. Make sure this ones are good. All right, those are good. That's always good. Make sure you double check because copying and pasting in After Effects sometimes is a little bit different. Uh, some things get messed up a little bit. So we're just going to run preview and see how it looks. All right, now you see everything's moving around two anchor points and it gives that that kind of an odd effect. That uh, that looks unique, I like to think. Um, like I did in my Champions one, I actually did this around four different anchor points. So I had four, four null layers in each corner. And uh, that helps smooth out the direction. And the more null, the more anchor points you have via null layers, the the more smooth it'll look, I guess. So if you really wanted to, if you had a whole bunch of clips, you could have you know maybe eight null layers, sixteen, however many you want. And uh, yeah, this is just something really good that you can mess around with. Have uh, multiple anchor points. I don't know how many times I have anchor points in this tutorial, but I think you guys get the point. So um, you know, other than that, make sure you guys leave any other tutorial suggestions you have down below in the comments make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video and i've been soren and i'm out